roll again, the lorry reloaded, the lorry part two. <laughs> One thing I really like about EMC is the fact that we live beyond our lives. We live not for just ourselves, but for others as well. We do it through the avenue of the bikes. So we're hoping this time around again, we'll make an impact, make it higher, make it bigger. And while doing that, we're just taking the air, the sights and sounds of Nigeria on the road. Is everybody ready? Come on! The first time we went to the motherless baby's home here, it was also our point people here, you know, driven especially by one of our key members, Benga, that investigated, oh, this home is like this, these are their needs, and we're like, oh, wow, you know, let's do this. And then after that, we're like, okay, what next? And then, you know, says, oh, but so there's this juvenile detention center, you know, where that has young kids from like between 10 and 18. Why don't we do that? And it's managed by the Nigeria Prison Service. It's for, you know, delinquent kids who are tough to manage by their parents and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Population 250. Wow. Yeah. Um, Inmates. Well, they call them students. Okay. They graduate students, funny enough. They go to higher institutions. They write exams. This is cool, right? Yeah. The age is from 17, 16, 15. 18, but it's a special case. They don't admit 18-year-olds. What's the plan of what we're doing now? Basically, we have uh, a visit, um, they have a list of requirements which we have taken on board and what we hope to achieve is to be able to supply as much as we can of the things they require, um, mattresses, yeah. blankets, blankets, blankets yeah. stationery. Stationary. We thought yes, if we move up a little bit higher to the social status ladder, we would also make even more impact. So we moved up to young adolescents who we thought were, were, uh, in a, were better positioned as well to appreciate the things that we were doing and the vision and the goal of the, uh, the riders. It's going to be motivational talk, I'm sure. And then we're getting rice as well, a bag of rice. rice. This is okay. Christmas food. Yeah, and then Gary. The people you will meet there are prison officials, the Nigerian Prison Service. They are in uniform. Well, yeah, it's the, the, the institution is under the Nigerian Prison Service. Funny enough, we asked if they had done any violent crimes. And they said basically it's just drug abuse, hemp, and things like that, that they don't do violent crimes. You can see now, amidst we have an August visitors. Their major objective is to take care of less privileged people, especially in the institution like this. It's a male-only school. There's no female ones yet. And it's one of the only three in the entire country, which is quite interesting. There are only three of such institutions. And this one, I think, is the newest. The major objective is to correct the, the, the delinquent student, uh, student in the society. We have vocationers. We have carpentry, tailoring, electrical, welding, uh, knitting. We run it like a normal conventional school. We have GSS1 to GSS3, and we have SS1 to SS3. So I happen to be one of the teachers here. I take uh, mathematics and chemistry. Listen to what this group, this society want to give, want to give to you, in terms of advice and in terms of other things they want to give to you. Before I say anything, let me just introduce you to who we are and what we do. My name is Tony Adebola. The main reason why we came here is because, like Oga said, we believe in you. End of story. We didn't come here to come and take pictures. That's not. We came here because we want these pictures to inspire other people to help you and this gentleman. We're going out to say this is the wonderful work that is being done here. Support them. That's our objective. When we got there, it was a mind-blowing experience because apart from even the things that we took for them, mattresses, blankets, stuff like that, which were in short supply, the, we met the principal of the institution, who is also like a top um, Nigerian immigration official, and he was telling us other needs that the institution has that are key to their everyday 
running and management, you know, and stuff like that. And we're identifying with those needs. So we've established a relationship with the Bostal Home. I'm sure every single person sitting here has heard the name Mandela before. Mandela started just like you, probably in even worse circumstances than this. His dream was about liberation. It was about let people be treated like normal people with benefits and equal rights. End of story. It was not a dream about, oh, I'm going to show them that I'm tough. Oh, I'm going to show my dad that I'm this. Oh, I'm going to show these people that are that. We hit the Bosa home. We reached out to them and we, we had lots of fun talking to them. Some very quick, short and simple mentorship process. And of course, what was more uh, interesting was the fact that we established a relationship with the institution and we connected with the children, uh, the kids there, the young adults there. Let me tell you something funny. You know, they like saying, doctor, doctor, doctor. You, 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 when you go to school, they want you to go and become a doctor. Not all of us are meant to be doctors. Not everybody is going to be a doctor. So there's something in your heart that you want to do. There's something you want to do. Some of you want to do music. You want to play football. Some of you want to act in Nollywood. There's something in your heart. If I don't know it, the person around you doesn't know it, but only you know it. Don't be afraid. Just do it. It doesn't matter who your parents are, where you're coming from, what you did, where you're going. That actually last part of where you're going is the most important thing. And as long as you're here and you decide in your heart that I'm going to be a blessing to this institution, my brothers that are here, the officials that are helping us, and this great nation, nothing on earth can stop you. Nothing. Let none of you think that the things these people well, they came from one other country and are speaking to you people. We all worked and struggled, some of us from places like this, to get to where we are. None of them have millionaire parents. They all have had to put in hard work. Coming across a bunch of kids who are more or less my sons, you know, in a situation some of them might have Warranted being there, you can never tell. Others, it's a throw of the dice. You end up there or you don't. When I got down there, as you see, I just sit down because I'm weak. When I say all these people that doesn't have anybody like that is a mother, something, whatever, I just say, ah, man, they're hiding people somewhere that we don't know. That's it. So I have to just sit down, start thinking out, but I just glad it's, it's small, small little children. It's like, you know. We basically have some children that are beyond parental control. Yes, some of them are into drugs. Some of them, they're wondering about. And most of them, their reason of being here is as a result of single parents. Maybe daddy and mom, they are not together. As a result of that, they will now say, let me keep it with a grandma. So eventually, maybe as a result of that, it will be spoiled. And we're wondering about smoking in there and taking our drugs. At the end of the day, we will be asked to reform here because this place is a reformation center. As a father, I couldn't imagine having my kids in such a place. It's a very, very new kind of thing that I really don't know how to, how to express it. Though, I really commend the, the, the club for bringing up such idea to go to such a place. This is my first time I've done such thing. I really, I really commend the group. We have recorded a lot of sources here. We have some of them that are University of Learning. We have them in Colleges of Education. Some of us, like my brother was saying, were at a point in time, if you don't, you know, we couldn't even buy food in school. He'll tell you. And like, he, like um, Fodex was saying, it's just a lot of hard work. Eventually, you will own bikes bigger than this one, in Jesus' name. Just don't stop dreaming. Don't stop dreaming. Just don't stop dreaming, okay? Now, we brought a few things for you guys. We brought some, we know it is not, it is, it is like a drop of water in the things that this institution needs to move forward. But we want to start from somewhere. So we brought some mattresses for you, some writing material, some gari and some, some food to eat and stuff like that. Just a little something to let you know that we want to establish a relationship with this institution and with you guys. You see the footage of the guy who, who gave the, the closing remarks, he gave a speech to thank us. We didn't pre-inform him, you know, he was so eloquent, he spoke brilliantly, 
and his command of English was very good. Station, we say a very big thank you for the great opportunity you've given unto us to see this very great day. And we pray that the Lord will continue to help you, strengthen you, provide for you and your immediate family in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Your father, do you play basketball? Yes, yeah. wow. play basketball. <laughs> he's, an, he's an ex footballer and played for many teams. Here. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are a lot of guys like that there. We saw a lot of lovely kids, brilliant kids, and you know, it made us happy because we found something else that we can be associated with, something else that we, we want to give to. Um, we want to give them a lot of stuff, we want to make life a bit better for them and contribute to their success and their stories. You know, we, we try talking to them to motivate them and you know, show them that they can be anything they want to be. This is a phase. Make the best you can out of it. You are the only one that can determine what your life will turn out to. Dare I say that in this place I see governors. You know, it's possible. You can become governors. You can become anything you want to be. You have your whole life ahead of you, you know? We got this long list of needs and then we're like, okay, let's do something about those needs and then talk to them and, you know, and when we got there, it was a mind-blowing experience because apart from even the things that we took for them, mattresses, blankets, stuff like that, which were in short supply, the, we met the principal of the institution who's also like a top um, Nigeria immigration official and you're selling us other needs that the institution has that are key to their everyday running and management, you know, and stuff like that. We're starting a relationship with you to be your big brothers. That's what we want to do. We're going to leave our contact numbers eventually. We will come here again and again and again over time to support you, to encourage you to be the best that you can be. Like we rightly said, we want to really have a relationship with you and we will continue to support you. Not only just materially, but emotionally, spiritually, and any other way that we can. So please accept this on our behalf. And thank you very much for inviting us and for, for allowing us to come and for allowing us to be part of this as well. Thank you very much. Well, we just got these things. I mean, it's getting bigger. You have an idea, it gets bigger. We have my friend here, Israel. He works in MTN. They just called him baddest guy ever living just now. <laughs> so he gave us some things for the booster home and for the orphanage as well. So big ups to MTN. Hey! I'm the only one shouting. Hey! I'm the only one still shouting. Hey! The Eagles Club are back in Ilori for our second visit to the uh, motherless children's home. On behalf of the Eagles Motorcycle Club, we want to show our continuous support and appreciation of the work that uh, the home does in uh, catering for and raising the children who, for different reasons, have been 
abandoned and uh, left to fend for themselves. And on behalf of the club, we went wish to uh, donate a few things that we were able to put together and importantly bring Christmas, the spirit of Christmas, sharing, giving, loving, caring to the motherless babies from all of us as a unit. We say Merry Christmas in advance and an advanced uh, Happy New Year also. Can we put our Christmas tree on? And we sin sincerely hope that the small light that is shines will bring joy to everyone here for a will. Oh yes. Oh. And God will continue to bless you, promote you, raise you among your peers in Jesus' name. Yeah, let me get let me get the t-shirt. We love to be unique. I mean, in EMC, we gravitate towards the unusual. Don't forget that our mantra, you know, in um, the EMC is we're responsible adventurers. You know, so we want to be part of being building blocks of our society. You know, especially in those areas where there's no there's no limelight. You know, there's no spotlight. We like to go to those areas and make difference. <laughs> EMC brothers, those who made the trip, those who didn't, importantly to my family. I have the one, most wonderful family in the world, supportive, and I left them at home, technically speaking. And I'd like to appreciate them also for giving me the opportunity to be where I am now, which really makes me proud. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my family, my brothers, my parents, to the beautiful woman in my life and also to um, two special EMC members that are very dear to my heart. First of all, Mr. T, he's a lovely, lovely person. And um, lastly, to um, Ola Inca Feba, he was with us on the last ride, but he couldn't make this ride. Another lovely fellow. Well, my shout out first of all, first and foremost goes to the president, uh, Mr. Tony Adibola. I mean, he's a man made, I think he's a man made of steel. If anybody deserves the tag, man of steel, yeah, I think he should be the one. Uh, because of some particular challenges we were facing, we actually even thought of cancelling the trip, but I mean, shout out to him. And then, I mean, all the new guys, Doya, woo! Oh, shout out to Doya, man, he's, he's, I mean, he's a great guy. Then there's Lawal, Lawal's the new guy as well. Lovely people, lovely people I love to roll with, and everybody. And then, of course, there's Aunt Hill. Production. I always like to add Anthill of the Savannah production people to it. I mean, they're a wonderful crew. I give my shout out to them. And then, of course, to the institution, the Boss Talk Training Institution, they're doing a wonderful, wonderful work. You'll see it. And then, of course, to the orphanage. Shout out to all of them. God bless. And Merry Christmas in advance. First of all, I would say, uh, hi to my mom. Hi, my dad is left. But like my mom, she's the only one I have now, right now. And I'm not married, I'm just a bachelor. But uh, and uh, I have a, a little girl that I think I'm trying to put things in order. And she know her name. That is Rose and Mary, an Americana. That is all the name that she have. Three names. It's not for three people, or it's for one person. This three names. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. I miss you there. That's I miss. You know who I'm talking about now. She can watch this thing. I miss that. I miss my mommy and, and uh, the group members like uh, the Fresdo, Mr. T, and the other people. And the white man, he knows himself. He has big head. Uh -huh. So everybody, I'm saying hi to them. That's it. First, first, I would like to give a big shout out to my family. My wife, she supported me all through. She encouraged me because she saw the first video that this group did and she was kind of, in fact, she shed tears when I 
are watching this video. So she encouraged me that I should be part of this kind of thing, that she really wanted to be part of it. I seconded to my to the president of the club, Mr. T. And thirdly to my boss, uh, Mr. Dotson Ajit Bala, the owner of 1960 Bet. He encouraged me also to, to be part of this. Well, my shout out, I have just one family. Just one. And it's a big one. And that family is my immediate family, wife and kids, my very, very special friends, the Eagles Motorcycle Club, and a few other friends that I have, including the uh, Ant Hill Production. I see these people as the people who matter the most in my life. And for me, I hold them as one pedestal. They are one unit to me. They make me Mr. T. Everybody for me is equal. I mean, they, they complete me as Mr. T. And then, I mean, shout out also to God who gives us the grace and the, the direction to do what we do. Number one, actually, to God who gives us the grace and the direction and the resources to do what we do. And then finally to these people, you know, the, the Nigeria prisons people watching the kids, the kids that are being watched, the motherless babies, um, homes kids, and the people who mind them. We're shouting out to them and say, God bless you, and God keep you, and God continue to keep you. About a week ago, in the process of preparing for this ride, we, the world learned of the, the passing of um, Nelson Madiba Mandela, Mandela, the former president of um, South Africa. And this is a man that has, over time, whether we like it or not, whether anybody likes it or not, has had global impact on humanity. Um, while we were planning this ride, we decided that, look, we're going to dedicate this ride as a tribute to that wonderful man. Um, he's done so much, I mean, brought the whole, the whole world to the window of South Africa to look into what's going on into that country and to liberate the black, not only the blacks in South Africa, but, you know, the, the black race. So we therefore, you know, dedicate this um, um, ride as a tribute to Nelson Mandela and thank him for, twin, for, for decades of selfless service. While you know other leaders are fighting for self-interest, he fought for his people, gave everything. I mean, he, the only, he didn't die because God didn't kill him or because he was just very fortunate. But the fact that he survived those decades of hardship and punishment is a wonder. And so we dedicate this right to him.